Since we're talking about defending freedoms and rights, let's talk about what's happening in Pakistan. On Friday, we told you the story of Arzu Raja, the 13-year-old Christian girl who's been failed by the judicial system of Pakistan. I want you to see this again, what her parents are going through. We told you how she was kidnapped. The 13 year old girl converted to Islam and married to her abductor. She's only 13, I must repeat that. Her abductor, now husband in the eyes of the Pakistan government, is 44 years old. The Sindh High Court upheld this marriage. That's right, a Pakistani court has validated a child marriage. Is it allowed in Pakistan? Do 13 year olds get married in this country? The court allowed it under the Islamic interpretation of the law. Thank God for what's left of the civil society of Pakistan. The story went viral. The condemnation became global. The court's verdict shocked Pakistani citizens. Enough for them to carry out demonstrations in Karachi. The protesters demanded a fair trial and justice for 13-year-old Arzu. The Sindh High Court conceded under pressure, to some extent at least. Our Pakistan correspondent Anas Malik has been reporting on the story. He sent us this report today. The Sindh High Court today heard the case pertaining to the alleged abduction and forcible conversion of a 13-year-old Christian girl. Uh, the, uh, the court has ordered the police to locate the girl in the next five days and uh, produce her before the court and also shift her to a, a shelter home where she, she would be given protection. So the court has decided to relook at the case. It has ordered the Sindh police to produce the victim by the 5th of November. And until then, the girl, Arzu, should be moved to a shelter home. That's what the court has said. But here's the problem. The Sindh police says it does not know where the girl is. On your screen is a tweet by Gibran Nasir, the victim's family counsel. He says the police has told the court that it has no information on the whereabouts of Arzu Raja or her abductor. This is a classic case of a lie to prop up another lie. Listen to what the girl's mother had to say. Now let me show you a video which proves that the Sindh police is lying. It was shot on the 1st of November, Sunday. Look at this. This is from a police station in Karachi. It shows Arzu's mother pleading with a 13-year-old daughter, asking her to return home. You can also see lawyers and police officials in the video. But here's the most shocking part. The conversation between Arzu and her mother. You have to watch this. This was a 13-year-old girl talking. She's been made to believe that what happened to her was consensual, that her abduction was legal, that her conversion was legal, that her marriage was legal. She's only 13 years old, and she has been brainwashed to believe that she has exercised her own free will by converting to Islam and marrying a 44-year-old man. This is appalling on so many levels. What explains this? Arzu's family says that Social status could be one of the explanations. The family council says the girl has been lured further by being told that she now belongs to a higher social standing after her conversion. That she is no more the child of a lesser god. 
but a Muslim like everybody else in Pakistan, and hence she's entitled to more respect in the society. Can a 13-year-old be expected to understand how wrong this is? Forget 13-year-olds. Pakistan's judiciary, its lawmakers, its clerics, its government, all of them can see how extremists and thugs are taking the law for a ride. A minor has been converted and brainwashed to believe that her social status has now been elevated. Her parents are fighting for justice. But Imran Khan, who gives others lectures on leadership, has failed to rise to the occasion yet again and speak for this child. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, World is One.